with some breaking news in the national lead. Secret Service Director Julia Pearson stepping down after a string of disastrous security breaches. The latest revelation, a contractor who was allowed to ride in an elevator with President Obama at the CDC in Atlanta, and he had a gun on him, a complete and utter breach of protocol. Pearson's testimony on Capitol Hill yesterday, of course, did her no favors. She was pummeled by questions from members of Congress who questioned her about the fence jumper who managed to make his way across the White House lawn and into the executive mansion and then into the East Room before finally, thankfully, being stopped. We're joined now by CNN's Justice Cor Correspondent Pamela Brown and CNN's Senior White House Correspondent Jim Acosta and Justice Reporter Evan Perez. Uh, Mr. Acosta, let us start with you. How did this all play out? Well, ac according to uh, White House Press Secretary Josh Ernest, earlier this morning, uh, the White House had confidence in Secret Service Director Julia Pearson. Uh, but obviously things changed during the course of the day. Uh, some senior Democratic lawmakers were starting to break ranks with the president, break ranks with this White House and say that they did not have confidence in Julia Pearson. And then it was at a meeting earlier this afternoon with DHS Secretary Jay Johnson that Julia Pearson offered her resignation. And then following that meeting, uh, the president called Pearson to thank her for her many years of service. And Jake, you mentioned uh, this latest security incident that we're hearing about that happened on September 16th. Uh, during which a, a CDC contractor, security contractor, was riding an elevator with President Obama during the president's appearance at the agency, and that contractor was armed, uh, violating Secret Service protocols, and the White House apparently was unaware of this until just yesterday. I asked Josh Ernest about that, and here's what he had to say. Just to ask you about this, this latest incident to have emerged. Uh, I, I guess it happened prior to the fence jumping incident. The, a security contractor at the CDC who was in the elevator who was armed in the presence of the president uh, in violation of uh, Secret Service protocols. Uh, did Director Pearson brief the president on that incident? Jim, I can tell you that the, that the White House uh, first learned uh, of that incident uh, yesterday afternoon, shortly before it was reported by uh, before it was publicly reported by a news organization. So she did not tell him about that, or the agency did not tell the White House about that until he didn't know about it until yesterday. Uh, until shortly before it was reported publicly. That's and, correct. And, and so, Jake, obviously the White House wants to see uh, a better record when it comes to transparency and openness and the uh, communication lines between the White House and Secret Service. I think that is going to be uh, Exhibit A as this internal review uh, gets underway. And, and as it's ongoing, uh, Josh Ernest, they're saying during the briefing that uh, at this point uh, they don't want to uh, pass too much judgment on why that did not occur, but obviously that's not how it's supposed to go. But that, yeah. that is astounding. Yeah. Uh, it is astounding that two weeks ago yesterday, a man with a gun got next to President Obama on an elevator, and the White House wasn't told about that, even though the Secret Service found out that day, the White House was not told about it until reporters started calling about it just before they broke the story yesterday afternoon. Pamela Brown, our justice correspondent, uh, Congressman Jason Chaffetz, he was asking questions of Director Pearson yesterday, asking her uh, about, he, he obviously knew about this other incident, and he was asking her, does she brief the president every time there's a security breach? He wanted to see if she was honest about um, telling the president about it, and he found out that either she lied to Congress or didn't tell the president, now we know the truth, she didn't tell the president about this incident. Yeah, I think it's causing a lot of outrage, Jake, and there's a lot of questions about whether she did uh, mislead Congress and others. In light of this incident that we learned about after the hearing, notably, uh, we found out about this latest incident before the September 19th incident involving Omar Gonzalez. And during the hearing yesterday, Pearson said that she briefs the president 100% of the time whenever there's a security breach. And she said she's only done it one time. Let's take a listen to what she had to say in this exchange. Now, I ask you what percentage of the time do you inform the president if his personal security is in any way, shape, or form been breached? Percent of the time, 100 percent of the time, we would advise the president. You would advise the president? Yes. In calendar year 2014, how many times has that happened? I have not briefed him, with the exception of one occasion, for the 9th, September 19th incident. So there you heard it. So she says this, and then hours after this hearing, Jake, we find out about this other incident where a security contractor is in the elevator with the president uh, with a gun on him, and the Secret Service didn't know about it until after that. And so, as you point out, you know, we heard from, from Josh Ernest that the White House didn't know about this. They found out through the media. 
She said she only briefed the president on the September 19th incident, but not the other one. So I think it, it, it raises a lot of questions, and it makes you wonder if she was too worried about covering sort of for yeah. herself and her reputation and her job rather than she, protecting the president. Exactly. What's most important, protecting the job or protecting uh, the president and, and his family? Let me go to Evan Perez right now. Evan, just putting yourself in the shoes of President Obama or White House Chief of Staff Dennis McDonough, you find out that she's been keeping this from you, this, this uh, very troubling elevator breach. There's no other choice, right? There's really no other choice, Jake. And, you know, that's exactly what uh, Jay Johnson, the, sec the Homeland Security Secretary, basically thought uh, at the end of yesterday because even at DHS, they've been repeatedly coming to the Secret Service and asking if there's any other incidents that they need to know about. And the Secret Service basically tells them, no, you know, you know everything. And that's why you see in his announcement today, he is announcing that his deputy, uh, Alejandro Mayorkas, is now going to take the reins of the internal investigation. So until now, the Secret Service has basically been investigating itself. And so that's no longer. DHS is going to take that over. And we're going to see uh, the results of that now uh, probably in, a, in another month, according to this, the secretary. And they felt that they were being misled not only by the Secret Service, but then they were passing on misleading information to Congress and to the White House, Jake.